Hello guys, hello, this is Teresa Love with Kingdom Initiatives and Power to Truth. Um, I just pulled up about to go work out, um, just leaving church. Um, I've been up since like three o'clock praying, warring, um, being refreshed and, and, and just seeing the Holy Spirit um, just allowing the resurrection blood of Christ to just be shed abroad in my heart. Again, I'm just leaving um, prayer. We have prophetic prayer Tuesdays um, starting at 815 at Hope Fellowship in Brandon. And um, yeah, I just went in. I'm just like, you know what enemy I am taking back? what you've stolen from me, what you've stolen from the body of Christ, hope, and, 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 um, you know, and I'm standing for God's victory in our lives, you know, God just woke me up and, and gave me a word and, 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 um, also, you know, asked the question, will we find, um, will we find ourselves weighing in the balance, wanting in the balance? Will we find ourselves wanting in the balance? And I'm like, okay, I know that's a scripture. What is that, Lord, or whatever? And when I looked it up, you know, it was just several. It's, it's, it's one that talks about the scales of God. You know, um, I'm actually going to start here. Um, Revelation 6, 5 through 6 says, pair of scales literally means yoke. As in a yoke of oxen or the yoke of bondage, the beam of balance, which represents the yoke of cross beams, joins or couples the two pans, just as a yoke joins the oxen. Just as it is better if the yoke oxen are evenly matched, so the purpose of the balance is to determine that the content of the two pans are equal. Today we have little experience with pairs or scales or balances, yet until recently they were the commonly used weighing for substances in the olden days, you know, in the Bible days. Perhaps we are familiar with a pair of scales from its use in a Western movie to determine the weight of gold nuggets. In addition, most of us are aware that a balance as an international symbol of justice depicting supposedly equality of all before the law. Elements of both of these common uses appear in the third horseman. In ancient times, the value of quantity of a thing was determined by weighing it on scales. In fact, people brought and sold items by weight or measure rather than by our currency-based system. For instance, the shekel was not originally a unit of money, but the weight according to which the price and quantity of things were determined. As such, were common marketplace items demanded that they be used justly. Yeah, interesting, excuse me, interestingly, because scales are easily manipulated, they can also be a symbol of fraudulent and oppression, as illustrated in Hosea 12.7. Hosea 12.7 says, a cunning Canaanite merchant referring to Ethereum, which stands for Israel, deceitful scales are in his hands. He loves to oppress. Michael concurs, shall I count pure those with the wicked balances and with the back of deceitful weights? For her rich men are full of violence, her inhabitants have spoken lies, and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. And that's Micah 6, 11, 12. Also, Leviticus 26, 6 says, when I have cut off your supply of bread, 10 women shall bake your bread in one oven and they shall bring back to you your bread by weight and you shall eat and not be satisfied. The prophet Ezekiel also mentioned rationing by weights as a judgment from God and your food which you eat shall be weight. 20 shekels a day from time to time you shall eat it. Son of man, surely I will cut off the supply of the bread in Jerusalem. They shall eat bread by weight and which anxiety and shall eat, I'm sorry, and shall drink water by measure of the dread. 
and that's Ezekiel 14. So I'm like, oh Lord, what are you saying here? What are you saying? Why are you giving me this? The Lord is saying, will you and I be found wanting in the weight of the scales? Will we have clean hands and pure hearts? Are we, or will we be the ones with a yoke of bondage? Will we be the ones standing in a way of someone else reaching Jesus and walking in the freedom and the liberty that the cross of Calvary carries through the blood of Jesus and the resurrection? Daniel 5.25 says, where God tells Belzar through Daniel's interpretation, Belzar, you have been weighed in the balances and found wanting. It is certainly possible that God wants us to understand that all these seemingly disparate meanings of the third horseman, his lethal power, is a terrible divine judgment on mankind for the violent oppression and greed and it takes the form of famine and wasting through malnutrition. A lot of the things that we are seeing is because we have been found wanting. That the scales of justice are coming into balance. God's scales of justice is coming into balance. Now you and I have to position ourselves. You say how to position yourself. You position yourself first and foremost through repentance standing before God confessing your sins allowing the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit will actually convict you and bring to remembrance the things that you need to the yokes you need to lay down the things that you need to allow His Spirit to break that's in you because I'm telling you in this hour God is doing a mighty work in the body of Christ and in the world all the things that we're saying God is, is still in his great mercy and love is saying I'm knocking I'm knocking at your door wake up wake up don't harden your heart awaken from your stupor awake awake and he's talking to his church when we were in prayer it was just you know um, um, a sister in Christ got up uh, you know older sister in Christ and she was just talking about you know what she was feeling or whatever and I was just like it's the travail you're 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 right where you are supposed to be your watchman you're a repair of the breach and God is showing you all the things he's showing you for you to stand in prayer and travail and someone else another sister in Christ got up and and basically you know said the same thing that it was the grace that God was given her to travail and then I just heard so clearly the Lord says he requires a pure birthing place for the water to flow for the Holy Spirit to flow like rivers of rushing water he's requiring a pure birthing canal so my question to you will you find being wanted weighing in the balance will you be for justice or will you are you tipping the scale in your favor against what God has asked you to do only the Holy Spirit can answer that for you. So I hope this word, you know, you know, I love when God brings correction because, you know, I'm just like, oh my God, now I know the truth. Lord, have mercy on me. Jesus, help me, Holy Spirit, to walk in your ways. Help me to see things like you do enlighten my sensitivity, my discernment, open my eyes of understanding, Father. Father, you said in your word, if I call to you, you will answer me and you'll show me mighty things I know not for your glory. So that's what God is saying now. Stand up, men and women of God. Stand up. It's time to come out of the caves. I know, I know, I know you had to run like Elijah did because Jezebel sent after, you know, it was sent things after you. But guess what? God is mighty. If God be for us, who can be against us? He is mighty to save. He's our strong fortress. And I don't care if it's if it's cancer, you know, mental illness. I don't care what it is. Cling to the word of God that's spoken over your life. Walk in the truth of who he is. And in this hour, you can only live by his truth. He's exposing. 
and he's weighing those. Don't be, don't get caught. Then want it as you're weighed. Do not be one of those. So, Lord, I thank you for your word. I pray that it encourages your people. Um, please let them hear your truth. Let them hear your love for them in order to realign them for your plan and purposes, God. I thank you that you have pushed back the enemy. You have ultimately destroyed him and he's under our feet. I thank you for the many doors and opportunities you have set before your people to walk in your glory and your justice. I thank you for the heavenly host that's fighting on our behalf, Father, to see your will and your purpose through our lives so we can see souls saved. I pray for the children. I ask that you, Jesus, you and your word said that you will teach our children that every corrupt thing that is trying to be taught in the education system and the privacy of their home that doesn't align with your word that you will protect them and that their angels, their guardian angels will speak the truth and that they will have a desire for you. They will have a desire to know you, a desire to serve you, a desire to obey you. We thank you for the plumb line that has been dropped. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, have a blessed day. I just, I mean, I just feel, you know, I just felt the need to come and encourage you and to say, move forth, go forward, go forward in the name of Jesus, because he's with you. The unstoppable God is with you. Amen. Amen. God bless.